Here we go. I know basically next to nothing about this game other than a couple of pictures that I've seen and the trailer as well. It looks like Breath of the Wild. It looks as though it plays like Wind Waker. Let's see what we've got. Uh, survivalist or storyteller. Four inventory is retained upon death. Chapter progress is retained upon death. Combat difficulty is reduced. Or only one item in held inventory are retained upon death. Ooh. You know what? Honestly, I think I might go with... I, I kind of want to go with Storyteller. What do you reckon, chat? Only items in held inventory are retained upon death. Yeah, I might go Storyteller because I don't know if I necessarily want to, like, grind. If, if there is some grinding elements to this game, I'd rather keep all of my stuff. Like, you know, if you've got to do loads of mining or woodcutting or things like that. I'm going to go Storyteller, I think. The money is here. Let's go for it. Remember the 12-hour stream you did yonks ago? Yeah. You released the ITLW wristbands. So oh yeah. Mine, but it is stuck on a bike lock with a lost keel amount. <laughs> I, I don't know why it was on there in the first place, dude. That sounds like a you mistake. Right, there we go. Oh, is it easier combat on the other mode? Oh. I didn't read that bit. We can maybe jump back out in a second. man this looks so good because obviously it's running on pc it means they can really go like all the way with like the uh, the lighting and the rendering and everything we're not bogged down by any consoles oh boy it's a kraken no Now that looks fancy. That looks like I could definitely break it within three minutes of using it, chat. <laughs> if it's anything like my computers, I'd break it. I'd break it. Right then. R to move the camera, as expected. No inverted controls for me. Straight into the portal, I guess. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, so what were the options on the... Uh, the game. I didn't realize it was going to make the combat easier. I just didn't want to lose my stuff when I died. That was all. Wake up! Hello? Right then. Here we go then. Chapter one, The Lost Island. We've got a rock. It's my new best friend. His name is Larry, and we're going to be best friends forever. Rocks are plentiful and extremely versatile. Born of the ocean's fiery heart, worn smooth by time's caress. Gotcha. Thick grass. Love to see it. Got a bit of wheat. Uh, this thick, vibrous grass is uh, surprisingly hardy. Uh, through weaving, we learn the value of a burden shared. So you can basically click in the uh, the left stick in order to um in order to sprint, which is nice. Pick up a little rock as well. Uh, what's that jump like? Oh, it's not too unrealistic. That's like a pretty sensible climb. Oh, you can actually sorry, a sensible jump. But I was going to ask if you can climb. Looks like we've got a stamina bar in the top left, which is the yellow one, and obviously health is on red. Oh, so how do you stop sprinting? Oh, for a moment there, I couldn't stop myself on top of the rock from like running off the top of it. That's fine. I'm assuming we're going to need a bunch of rocks for something. Do we need to go and punch a tree? I reckon we do. Ooh, can I pick up that starfish? Ah, oh, we can't. Never mind. That rock looks a little bit different, though. Nope, nothing there. All right, let's go over to these uh, trees, find out what the crack is. Ooh, can you dive in this game? Maybe diving will be a thing that you can do later on. That's the fastest I can swim right now as well. She is very profusely sweating going through this water. <laughs> She's really struggling. Go on, girl. I don't even know what her name is, chat. That's the thing. Maybe we'll learn in the moment. Another rock. A bit more wheat. 
since this is a game that seems to be focused on actually collecting things, I'm going to um, ensure that I, you know, get a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff. Oh, what's her name? Her name is Kara. K A R A. Okay, cool. I'm vibing that. Is someone playing music up here? Oh, hold on a minute. Is that a little? That's a little fella there. What's up with you, dude? Oh God, I've got a knife. All right, shank him. It's a razor bub. Oh no, it's got a mama. It's got a mama. I immediately regret my decision. I'm still gonna dedicate to it though. Come on. I'm out of stamina. Oh God. What was that? Oh, you can do left trigger to target on the closest enemy. Ah, I got your corners, you little bugger. <laughs> Mama ain't gonna save you no more. Mama can't do nothing. I got some bones. There we go. Right. Uh, Makiba. Is that how it's pronounced? Macabre? Um, but bones are lightweight material with a good balance of strength and durability. We're all consigned to dust, but until then, we may still have some utility. So, it says new recipes. Do I have a... Ooh, there you go. Oh, there's like a big old map for this as well. Jeez, look at the size of this area. It's your birthday. Thank you very much for the resub, Blue Fox. Hi. Let's have a look. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Welcome back. So hold on. So we've got our weapon. Left trigger is target. Right trigger doesn't do anything. Oh, wait. No, no, wait. There we go. Right uh, shoulder button is um, crafting. So we can make some rope or we can try and make one of these. If we get a Gorehorn Crest, whatever the hell that is. I don't know if this is the thing that we want to attack just yet. <gasps> Who's this little ribbity rabbity? What are you? I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Come back. I want to hurt you. Please. I just want to cut you. There's a plumber downstairs, chat. He's probably wondering what the hell is going on up here. <laughs> he's he's going to have no idea what's going on. Let's have a look. Oh, wait, wait, was that weapons and other stuff? Oh, yeah, cool. Let's go find out what this little uh, statue is. You can eat to restore stamina. Do I even have any food? Let's have a look. How do I swap? Oh, oh no, wait, hold on. Oh, there you go, nice. Mm, can't eat any of those. I'm not going to eat Larry. I'll smash my teeth in. All right, let's find out what this is. subscribers hey thanks sim blow the horn but it's gonna sound really sus oh oh hey up Ooh. oh it's a paddle sure i mean a weapon would be more useful right now but sure a paddle will do Oh, there is that little platform over there as well. Does he want me to sail to it or can I swim to it? Um, we've got the ore of the ancestors. An ornate, mysterious ore through ancient... Um, oh, sorry. Though ancient, it remains in perfect condition. Occasionally, in, it trembles in your hand as if something resides in it. If faith was enough, there'd be no need for ores. Right. Press RB to bring up the inventory in the crafting menu. Uh, RT to select the boat parts page. Select a canoe or deck and craft it in the water. Oh my god, hold on a minute. So I need to make that. I need to get uh, two ropes. So if I quickly do um, two rope. One. Oh, there you go. Rope made from grass. I thought maybe it might just have like a thing on the screen that appears. You know what I mean? Like a little line that tells you how long the animation for it's going. There you go. Now I can make the boats. Oh wait, what's that? Grass sling. Oh, we don't need that just yet. There we go. Um, oh, we need one more thick grass. Let's go grab some more. Mate, I'm about to make a full-on, like, wheat boat. This is great. Can I kill this little fella, or is he too quick for me? There you go. It's a blink. If you blink, you'll miss it. <laughs> oh, I need some kind of, like, trowel, I guess, to open it. Or some kind of, like, blade. A lot more like a scythe, actually, to be fair. Right, there we go. We've got four thick grass. So I don't think we necessarily need a boat to get across there, but we'll make it anyway. Um, oh god, hold on a minute. Oh, sure, skipper. Wait, 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 wait. Where's that then? Oh, I see. Look, you can see it just there. Can I attack in the water if I get close enough? Oh, no, it's way too quick for me. I'm going to need a bow and arrow to sort that bad boy out. Right then, uh, let's go for it. Why kill it? It was adorable. That means it's got something to hide. 
When something's being secretive like that, chat, you know they're hiding something. I just know it. Uh, right, big boy boat. Oh my word, look at that. It looks like a banana. <laughs> look at it! Do I have to get my uh, my thing out? There you go. Oh god, don't run away from me. There you go, row. Okay, sure. So right trigger to go forwards, left trigger to go in reverse. Well, this is a whole experience. Look at it. I can't believe we're quite on the oceans already. What system is this on? I think this is on everything, genuinely. I think I'm pretty sure I saw them announcing that it's on literally PlayStation, Xbox, I think even Switch. Um, and then it's come to both Steam and the Epic Game Store. It is everywhere, my dude. Yep, it's on GameCube as well. It's only on about one platform less than um, than Skyrim. I think Skyrim's currently on um, Samsung toasters, but I don't think um, Windbound is on there just yet. Is this early access or the full release? To my knowledge, it's the full release, dude. So this is this is the dumb product. Right, here we go then. I'm about to call Barnacle Boy and Aquaman. The girl widens. The hunter ensnares her prey. Love the classic Zelda generic voiceover. This beautifully adorned shell resonates with a mysterious power. It's a Nautilus key, uh, an arcing relic from the bygone era. Much can be learned of the door by examining the key. Sure, if you say so. Is somebody outside with like a moped? That's what it sounds like outside my house. <laughs> then if it's the same for anybody else who lives in a <laughs> random bit of British suburban area. That's pretty much what it sounds like when they go past. It's too low pitch for a moped. No, but they put on some weird like thing. Like they've they've obviously been on TikTok, seeing this thing that's on like Amazon you can buy to make it sound deeper. And all it is is just like a reinforced like toilet roll tube. <laughs> that's that's all it is. That's all it is. Good God. Oh, wait. Do I have a bow and arrow? Knife. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's, I just saw the D-pad uh, thing in the top left corner. That's fine. Oh, hold on a minute. How do I get wood? That's what I want to get. If I need wood, that is. Right. Let's bring up the crafting menu then. What do we want to make? Uh, Weapons survival. What do we need for weapons? Well, for survival, we needed this thing. So we need a gorehorn crest. And then we can also make a palm bag as well. Interesting. Um... And then if you want to make a stick spear, we need one stick. We need stick and leather. And then we need grass rope. Oh, wait. Is, oh, wait. A grass sling. We need grass rope. Hold on. Let me make one of those. Put a banana in the exhaust. Mate, my, my banana doesn't even have an exhaust. Look at it. You can see my banana right there. Here we go. A simple sling of woven grass. While not the most refined of ranged equipment, it gets the job done. So what do I do? Do I whack stones in that, I'm guessing? Should we try it? Yeah, I reckon that's what it's going to do. Uh, hold on. Equip the sling. Nice. Oh, wait. I, the tutorial went before I could even check it. It's fine. Right, there you go. Back it up. Attention. This vehicle is reversing. Oh, God. Am I... I might have to jump off and push it in. Hold on a minute. Oh, hold on. Oh, there you go. Are we, are we waterborne again yet? Ah, there you go. We're on. We're on. Oh, God. What happens if your boat gets away from you? I can see that happening. Your microphone sounds good. Is it a good starting mic? This microphone's fairly expensive, dude, to be fair. And I've also got a compressor as well, like a separate box. So it's, it's, it's definitely not just the microphone, unfortunately. Right then, let's use our newly acquired... Um, I want to equip this thing. Hold on. No, not that one. I want to do ranged. Wait. Right. Use the sling. Right, so the sling is out. Hold RT to charge the ranged weapon. Oh, that was my fault then. So I was I was holding down left trigger before to try and do this. Right, ready for this? Let's get this boy. Ooh. So where where would it hit? Like there. Oh, it went over him. Oh wait, is the marker? Oh. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Go on, try it, mate. Try it, mate. I dare you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you kind of look like you want to play. I feel kind of bad taking you out now. And you can still dodge in this mode as well. And you can pick Larry back up. That's good. So when I inevitably mess up about 17 times, then we're going to be all good. 
But then the problem is, is if he starts kicking off once I've started hitting him with it. Is he messing with me? If every time I run around one side of the tree, is he running around the other? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. <laughs> I'm, I'm being bested by a pig chat. This isn't funny. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, I missed him, missed him, missed him. Whoa, I dodged into him, you idiot. Oh, God. Oh, God, I hate it. I hate it. Dodge. Oh, come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. Well, if I charge it up for longer, will it do more damage or no? There you go. Can I get the knife out? I can, I can. Get the knife out. Finish him. Finish him. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is a bad time. <gasps> no, I missed. Come on. This can't be how this story ends straight away. Got it. Bap. Right, that's going to take some getting used to. With that HUD, I'm genuinely not entirely sure where I'm aiming at. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, a, I don't know which part of the HUD actually represents what I'm, like, throwing towards. Uh, a koji berry, a small edible fruit. Best eaten quickly after harvesting. Uh, eat to replenish your stamina. Gotcha. Right, can I chop this fella up then? Interact. Oh my god, yeah, I just ripped him into like seven pieces. Gotcha. We got some skin, the unrefined skin of an animal with some work. It could be a useful material like leather. Good. Uh, small raw meat can be eaten to... Um... Oh, it can be eaten raw to stave off hunger, but its restorative effects are temporary. Gotcha. And then we've got whatever that was as well. Let me go pick up me rocks. I'm a little bit short on Larry's right now. Oh, it vanished. That's annoying. Do I need to like build a bed or anything? Like, can I sleep through the night and stuff or, or no? Let me try eating some stuff. Let's have a look. Um, oh, wait. What was that? That was a boat accessory. A grass bucket. A simple place to store three items. Oh, so you can store stuff on your boat as well. That's pretty cool. Um, right. Koji berry. Eat that bad boy. Um, how do I cook? Can I, like, make a fire? Mm, survival. Oh, I can make a hammer, but I still need to get a stick. Are there really no sticks here? Like, can I interact with this branch and snap it or what? Maybe I'll find sticks on other islands. Or I'll have a look at the foot of these other trees as well. Oh, I hear an enemy, but I don't see it. Oh, no, I do. I see a little babby one up there. There we go. Oh, my stamina is taking a beating. Surely you should be able to get your stamina back a bit more frequently than this. Can I interact with that? Oh, yeah. There you go. A good snack. Eat to replenish a small amount of health and a modest amount of hunger. Cool, cool, cool. Give that a go then. Um, it's going to take me a while to get used to the controls going in and out of this menu. Uh, which one was it? Not the meat. I wanted the rust cap. There you go. There we go. That's looking a bit better. Yeah, God, look at that hunger spike. So is it a case of I need to not use up too much stamina to let that regenerate properly? I guess so. Should we try going to another island? Let's do that. Let's have a little wander somewhere else. Poor pigos. Well, dude, if you're put on if you're put on the first island, then you're in trouble. It happened in Sword Art. It happens in Warcraft. It's just how it is. It's the way it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to sprint right now because I'm worried that if I sprint, then it's going to reduce my my stamina regen. Um, where did I leave my boat? I was so certain that I left my boat around here, but maybe I didn't. My boat wouldn't have drifted off, would it? Oh, maybe it would have. Well, I'll wait for that stamina to regen a bit more. Oh, no. Where is my boat? I was so sure that I drove it around into that part of the coast. Check the map. Is there a map? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. My boat's this way. We're good. Whew. We're good. Let's see. Where is it? Wait, is it in my boats there? Oh, it must have been this coast we left it in. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I think I was confusing the two the two coastlines. My bad. All right, then. Out you go. Let me uh, push you out into the sea. Thank you very much. Oh, God, come back. All right, here we go. Let's go. Um, Next island, where you at? I think I saw one over in this direction. Let's set a course. This game gives huge Moana vibes. Don't, dude. Don't. <laughs> oh wait, wait, should we get the auto-tune on? How far it goes Cause I'm playing this game that looks a lot like Zelda But it is not Breath of the Wild or Wind Waker Cause it's windbound There you go Pretty good, right? It's, I say that and then it plays the most Zelda-like music I've ever heard in my life 
<laughs> but no one knows. God, the auto tune's struggling today, dude. I clearly do not sound very good today. I mean, we did see a Kraken earlier on. I wonder how often we're going to come across, like, seafaring baddies. You know what I mean? Martin for Moana too. Yep. You can cast me as um, as Maui. I think I've got the, uh, the guns for it. Yeah. Forget about the rock. He's more like the pebble now. I'm the boulder. That's what I am. Get ready for it. Ooh, all the coral around here looks really cool. Right, hold on a minute. This is some tall grass. There's another one of these, like, pillars as well. Hmm. All right, then. There we go. Land hoy! No, wait, what's the, what's the saying, chat? I need to I need, I need need to have all the lingo down. Uh, a palm frond. Oh, <laughs> that's very French, isn't it? Oh, we oui, oui, I have a palm frond for dinner. <laughs> uh, a broad, sturdy leaf that is great for weaving. Okay. Is there a little fella there? I was so sure I saw a little fella just then. Oh, yeah, look, there's another cutie over there. Ready? Don't blink or you'll miss it, chat. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Hello, you. You're about to get... Oh. Oh, I don't know. I still don't know how this works. Bollocks. I'm, not, I'm just not very good at it. Yeah. There you go. I'll be better with that. Can, see, can, can anybody just from watching explain how the shooting works in this? Like, am I supposed to be lining the icon at the top up? Or am I supposed to be lining up the... Like, cause I, think, I think the dots, like, imply range, right? Hmm. I'm just not entirely sure how the rest works. Is my inventory full, by the way? Do I need to actually make a, a thing for my... God, yeah, I need to do all sorts of stuff. Right, hold on a minute. There's more pigos there. I don't think they attack me unless I attack them. I think I need to make one of those little storage baskets for my boat. The top one is close range. The bottom is far range. Yeah. I guess I, I guess it's just going to take me a while to figure out the uh, the distances. You know what I mean? Right then. Uh, I need a basket. Or a palm bag. Two grass rope and a palm frond. I guess I can make two, uh, two grass rope. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make my physical inventory bigger. Oh, but my inventory is full. Oh, um, let me eat the raw meat, I guess, to free up some space. Oh, God, what's that? Oh, oh, sorry. You get nauseous when you eat raw meat. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. Shouldn't be surprised. This will be fine. I'm not sure I understand the stamina gauge, if I'm honest. Oh, I guess because I've just eaten, it's obviously gone up a bit. Okay, ignore me. There you go. Nice. That's two more palm fronds. Right, so do I have the stuff now to make a bag? What was it again? Uh, oh, no, two more palms. Should be some more around here, right? Let's see. Unless palms are only on the beaches. Whoa, look at that big boy. Look at these hefty fellas. They're thick with about 17 Cs. They're thick. They're big. They're real big. Jeez. Right, there's another one and another palm frond. Another palm frond. Right, let's make a bag then so we can carry some more stuff. Let's go. Lovely. Right, a simple pouch made from woven fronds. Nothing too fancy. Add seven extra slots to your inventory. I actually didn't expect that. I thought it was going to add like three. Honestly, I honestly thought it was only going to add like three. Part of me kind of wants to get as many of these now whilst I've got a chance. You know what I mean? So if there's any more like palm fronds and stuff on this island, then I should go for it. Um, let's have a look at the recipe. Oh, are they going to start on me? No, I think they flee. Uh, what's the recipe for the axe if I want to get some sticks? So we need leather, stick, and gloom harrow. I don't know what gloom harrow is. Oh, no, a gloom harrow jaw. You're not telling me that I'm going to have to kill one of these in order to get an axe, are you? Stop it. Stop it. Um, <laughs> a gore horn crest and a stick. Surely you can get... Maybe, maybe from these thinner ones here I can get some sticks. Hold up. I might be all right. Let me try snapping this thing a bit. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're fine. Jeez, dude. A thin length of wood, the cornerstone of any survivalist toolkit. True strength comes from knowing how to bend without breaking. Said every yoga instructor ever. There you go. Oh, now we can make a fire. Oh, okay. Now that we've got sticks, we can make a fire. Sure. Uh, let me climb up this bad boy. I don't actually know the way up, but we'll figure it out. Uh, around the back? Yeah, that looks about right. Lovely. 
They've got a whole dump truck. Dude, they've got an 18-wheeler. That's what they got. Those, those are some big animals. Oh, I'm very, very wary about making those jumps. When can we make our uh, glider? That's what I want to know. Here's the next one. That necklace is going to be popping, dude. Look at it. I love the massive lapis earrings as well. The shell spirits of the sea give us life. Our hearts beat in harmony. Good. Right, lovely. Uh, let's go down. I'm feeling that strange throat singing in the background. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh boy. Um, so what's next? Let me let me look at my crafting. So I can make a fire now. I'm probably going to pass on that. Um, Gorehorn crest, Gorehorn crest, and that's about all you've got. So what's a Gorehorn crest? That's what I want to learn. I can make a stick spear, a crude weapon crafted from a sharpened stick. I mean, guessing that's the throwable one, right? And then there's a bone tipped one as well. I guess what I need to do is learn how to make leather. But it might be a case of I might not be able to make leather until I've made um, the other stuff. Ooh, I can make a I can make a mast. That might actually be really helpful for flying uh, for sailing to the next island. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a proper mast. Um, there we go. Oh. Jesus, right, hold on a minute. I, sorry, I didn't realize you wanted to build it right here, right now. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I thought that was just for the boat. I guess it makes ah. sense, though. I, I wouldn't be able to just carry it in my back pocket, you idiot. Why have I fallen over like that? There you go, nice. Um, is there anything else here we want to grab? Like, I guess a couple more rocks. This will be fine. Oh, yeah, let's go grab the... Um, let's go grab the blink... What were they called? Blink fronds. Can somebody Google for me what a frond is? Is a frond just like a leaf? Or what? Oh. There we go. Soft and lightweight and something else. I didn't catch the text. Mm. I thought there was something on that rock just there. Yeah, we'll make our tools soon enough. Then we'll be able to dig these bad boys up. Frond is the leaf or leaf-like part of a palm, fern, or similar plant. Why is he using the word frond for other stuff as well then? That's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, let's see we go. Whack the sail on. Do I need to rotate it or will it just go on? No, oh, it just goes on. Nice. Oh, wait. No, that's right. That's right. I was worried for a second that I accidentally crafted one. Uh, so, okay, here we go. So you can raise or lower it with left trigger or right trigger. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, no. Lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. Let me just turn a bit. Oh, I see. So I don't use the paddle anymore. Oh, with you. Oh, that's kind of cool then. I don't mind that so much. Oh, no, I think I maybe can still paddle. But it's up to me how I want to do it. Oh, God, please come back. I don't want to lose you like this. There we go. So if I do <clears throat> sail. Oh, I see. So now I'm using the paddle for steering. Ah, cool. Press X to tighten the sail. Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't, I, I'm not good with sailing mechanics, chat. I'm not going to lie. It's not my forte, but we're okay. Do I want to loosen it a bit, maybe? Oh, sorry. I've just... Oh, God. Does your boat have health? I've just bumped into some coral. Oh, boy. Hold on. Loosen it up a bit. There you go. This is, this is a bit quicker than before, isn't it? Look at that. Look at me proper tackling the waves. I'm presuming the bag here to catch more air. Yeah, but it doesn't look as though it actually, like... Yeah, it doesn't look as though it actually gets tighter or looser. It looks like it just rotates. But, so whenever I tighten it, it actually just rotates the, the angle of it. It doesn't seem to have any kind of, like, bow to it. Which I don't, I don't mind. I'm cool with it. We'll go over to this island and see what it's got. It's probably going to have the third, like, scannable thing. Oh, boy. I'm getting taken with the wind. Come on, buddy. You can do it. From the trailer, I remember seeing some really, like, like fleshed out ones. Like, really, like, big, um, really big boats. Like, you could fit, like, seven people on by the looks of it. Do, 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 do. Hmm. It's kind of cute. Have you personally tried the new sneak flavors? Yes, I have, dude. Yeah. I've got both the bubblegum and the strawberry ones, and they are amazing. Genuinely. I genuinely really, really love them both. I've been drinking nothing but the strawberry one for like the last three days. I like it that much. 
Um, I almost feel like getting some health cashed in. Let me try and eat some koji berries. Oh, you can press and hold to eat. Oh, I should have done that. All right, there's more of those big boys over there. It looks like the big boys intimidate the little ones as well, which makes sense. If I press and hold, will this eat this immediately? Yeah, there you go. So you eat it straight away. Okay, cool. All right, let me get those berries that were in my inventory. Where are they? Um, uh, koji berries. There you go. Blink fronds. So how do you move stuff? More actions. Oh. So is it some items are just considered bag items then? That's interesting. Unless when I reopen the inventory now. Oh no, it, it sort of stays like that. Fair play. Hello, little fella. Bat! Gotcha. Lovely stuff. Let's interact with you. Chop you up into teeny tiny pieces. Ooh, we could probably make some... Um... You want to try making a fire, chat? How can we try making a fire? Let's go for it. So we'll make a fire and see if we can then cook the food. Or cook the raw meat, even. Yeah, there you go. So I guess there'll be a Y interact on it. Yeah, cool. And then you can basically just choose between your stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's going. Cool. I thought the option just, like, vanished. So is that now in my inventory, I'm guessing? Oh, no, wait. Do I have to, do I have to keep an eye on it cooking? Oh, God. What if it can burn, though? Also, if that big tusk fella comes over, I'm in big trouble. Interact. How do I know when it's ready? Oh, I see. It's got like a little timer around it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, cool. Let's have a little wander about and grab some other stuff then. I uh, can't chop you just yet. I'm worried about interacting with the thing at the top of this tower in case it pulls me away from this area. But maybe it won't. Maybe it's just a case of the, the world map will expand. That is a big looking island over there. Boy, oh boy. I want to go to that sometime soon. There we go. Is it out yet on Steam? It says pre-purchase. Um, I think typically for Steam, Steam games tend to update at 5 or 6 p.m. each day. Um, I've got an early access version, or like, you know, a press copy, should I say, um, of it on Steam. But I think on, uh, I think potentially on the Epic Games Store, it might already be out. Check on their Twitter. They've got, um, they've got info on there. If this teleports us, leave it. It'll be fine. Our lives intertwine. The sisters of the sea guard us, and we honor them. Okay. There we go. That's three of them up. How's the map looking? Oh, it actually, like, literally shows you the shapes of everything. Oh, cool. Oh, look. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's glowing up now. Interesting. So I'm guessing in, in chapter one, which is what we're playing through currently, I'm guessing that's like the only, these are the only four islands, you know what I mean? That doesn't explain though still how I get one of those weird tusk things. Whatever it's called. Was it called a Gorthorn or something? Can I grab from this yet? Oh, it's almost there. I'm going to watch it and wait for it. Are there any more little sticks I can get? There is, there is also like these kind of ruins over here, which I kind of want to investigate a little bit. Come on then. What you got? Uh, it's almost done. I'm assuming you can't dismantle the fire, right? So you're not going to be able to bring it with you. This game would be amazing in multiplayer, not going to lie. Yeah, well, the graphic style is somewhere between, like, Sea of Thieves and Breath of the Wild, isn't it? It's a really, really cool little hybrid. All right, so grab that. Delicately roasted meat. Okay. Um, and if I go ahead and have a little nom... There you go. Surely my hunger's going to full. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll leave that for now. I'm I don't want to I don't even want to check whether these guys are aggro or not. I just I don't want to learn. Because I'm sure they will be. Anything inside of here? Ooh. On nights when stars shine brightest and the wind is low. The rhapsodes stand tall atop a feasting table, and I didn't finish reading it in time. Oh no. What did that say, chat? Maybe if I go away from it and back again. I wonder if that's like a clue to like a secret somewhere. Let me go back. I can imagine a sandbox mode sort of thing. Well, yeah, apparently this is randomly generated or procedurally generated. I don't know to what extent. I don't know if it's particularly infinite or whether it's just more a case of the island shapes and the island positionings are different each time. I'm not, I'm, I, I don't know the depth of it. Because I've I tried not to look too much up about this game. Um... 
before release just because I thought it'd be nice to have an actual surprise for once. You know, like, rather than knowing everything from like deep dive interviews and all this sort of stuff. I thought it would just be cool to just dip into it. Right. Tell you what then. Let's make our way over to that other island. Oh, actually, can I... Can I sneak up on these and get some extra stuff for leather? Nice. And... Oh, that didn't quite go as far as I'd hoped. I almost kind of wish there was like a guideline, you know what I mean? Like a, like a, you know, like a blue, uh, like a multicolor line or something that appears. Whoa. There you go. Oh. Oh, he got away as if. Come on, mate. Wait for me. Got it. Nice. Your hunger drops really fast if you're running too much. Oh, yeah, well, obviously. But I don't think I'm in the business of uh, taking my time too much. What's that? Oh, that's just more... That's, that's literally just skin. Okay. Right, well, I'll tell you what, then. Should we go over to the island? It seems to have stopped glowing now, which is a bit of a worry. Maybe, maybe it only glows when I'm stood atop of the tower. Maybe that's what caused it. Uh, I've got to figure out this distance thing. How did that miss? Oh, uh, you know what? Well, he's long gone, isn't he? He's long gone. I tell you what, let's get back to our boat. Let's get back to our boat and we'll get off this darn island. Let's go. Whoop. There we are. Right then. Um, I probably need to back this bad boy up a little bit. If I back it up, is it bad enough? Huh. Right then. Let's say all dude. Um, Titan, is it? No, loosen. No, wait. Raise. Oh, no, wait. Raise. Oh, boy. We're, we're kind of going against the, the breeze here, but it's fine. We could probably just go on a slight <laughs> gangster lean <laughs> all the way to the next island. This is fine. We're good, chat. It was in this sort of gen uh, general direction, wasn't it? Oh, no, but there's a storm coming. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Why have we decided to do this? This is clearly a terrible idea, top to bottom. Oh, no. The music's happy, but the environment is not. Oh, boy. Am I even going in the right direction? Uh, I think... Yeah, generally the right direction. Okay, we're well, fine. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me just do this. Can I get some wind behind me or no? There you go. There's nothing going on here. I'm not moving. Oh, no. Come on, how do I get going? Oh, I knew I was going to mess this up. Yeah, I'm literally going to have to leave the, uh, I'm literally going to have to leave the sail like that to catch the wind. I'm sort of just going side on with it. This is fine. Which direction are we going in? Oh, that's the edge. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I've completely messed it up then. Wrong direction, buddy. Go, go, go. <laughs> Chat, never go on the ocean with me. You will die. Confirmed. Let me, let me lower it for a second. Hold on. I can't seem to change the direction of it. You know what I mean? Oh no, the wind's literally against me. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get there yet? I mean, I can't even bloody move right now. That's that's my issue. Can't I just like paddle with the oar? No, I don't have the choice. Oh, I wanted to sort of paddle with the oar properly again. Hold on. Then raise it. You need to tack, chat. You can't be hitting me with sailing terms. I have absolutely no idea what you'll be talking about. I've never gone on a boat in my life. I don't know how I'm going to get over there, chat. Do, I, do you reckon I maybe just go around? Like, do I go back to the original island and then loop around from there? Like... Attack upwind, tighten the sail, and zigzag towards the island. Right. God, hold on, wait. Tighten up the sail. I mean, that, that's tightened up as much as it can be. 
There you go. Left and right. Left and right. I'm zigzagging. I'm trying my best to zigzag. I'm getting some kind of movement going. God, we're learning something today. You can paddle to the island if you dismantle the sail. I don't know. This zigzag method's working okay. <laughs> to the window! To the wall! We're, we're kind of moving. There you go. It's kind of working. Yeah. Progress made, sort of. Yeah, this chat is super chill. Yeah, we're, we're a nice little bunch around here, dude. We have a zero a zero BS policy in the chat. People are in here being xenophobic, racist, homophobic, anything like that. Immediate ban, not even warnings, just gone. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. This is a real sailing strategy, by the way. It's super cool. Oh, no, I assumed it was. I like. I didn't think you were just like making it up on the fly. I assumed that there was definitely some uh, some real world rooting into it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right, I think we've kind of made it. <laughs> I'm saying that very apprehensively. Right, there you go. Lower it, lower it down, lower it down. Oh, boy. Right, we're ashore. Right, what we got? Any more goodies? Are these all broken up and segmented or no? Interact. Oh, look at that. It builds a bridge. Nice. I guess you would basically build one bridge per um, island that you visited, right? So we're basically exhausting the power in the necklace right now. Yeah, it looks like we are. I mean, we've not even scratched the surface of the crafting menu just yet, but this is fine. We'll carry on. Here we go. I think I'm sold on this. Are there dungeons at all or just the islands, dude? I have no idea. I only, honestly, no idea. I've, I've never played this game. I've not, I've not kept up with the development stuff. I was like, I like the look of it. I like the vibe. That's all I want to know for now. Wowzers. It's my... Oh. <laughs> my, like, shawl or my cape or whatever it's called is just awkwardly hanging up. Like a magnet. Whoa. Oh no. Colosseum. This never ends well. Something tells me there's going to be like paintings and scriptures on this. Yeah. So is that the heart of the ocean? Maybe. Or it's a big ass jellyfish. But that actually attacked our boats by the looks of it. So it's mimicking what happened at the start of the game. And then it chased us, I guess. So we worship the big jellyfish. It threw a tantrum and then chased us away. Is that what we're to believe? How many more of these are there? So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them total, so maybe five chapters in this game. The first crossing rejection. We've had a full heal on hunger and on, uh, uh oh, sorry, on health and stamina. Whoa, dude. Okay. All right, all aboard. Let's go. Jeez. Sort of getting used to the the sailing thing. I mean, obviously, this is an easier time because the current's going with us. It's very thematic, though, isn't it? They've really nailed the, um, sort of the mood of the game. Oh, these waves are getting big, dude. I'm not, I'm not built for this. I'm literally in a banana made of wheat. I, I can't deal with the Kraken. <laughs> that's, that's not for me to do right now, okay? Oh, boy. Oh boy, hold on a minute. I've not made any movements just now. I think I'm kind of at the mercy of the waves right now. I think I've just got to try and ride them as best I can. The wind's with me. If I tighten it actually, or loosen it even. There you go. If I loosen it, I get more wind behind my sail. That's better. Oh boy. Bam, ba, bam, ba, bam. 
Ooh, okay, I'm pulled into the undercurrent. Oh my god. It's weird, isn't it? Because sometimes it feels like you're not moving forwards, but you are. But it's the shape of the waves makes it feel like you're in place. I've really got to try and not crash here, chat. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not a jellyfish. It's an ammonite from the Jurassic period. I mean, I've seen ammonite, chat. And it didn't look like that in Pokemon. I'm kidding. I don't know what an ammonite is. How do you like the game so far? It's all right. I, I, we've not really done anything, honestly. We sailed to three islands. We picked up some stones and sticks, and that's about it. So I can't really say that we've done much gaming just yet. Oh, boy. Come on. We'll get through. We'll get through. I'll tighten this up slightly. Oh, look. There you go. Oh, cool. Is that going to be some like, badass staff at the end that we get to keep? It, ride it, ride it, ride it. Long story, the priest. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, chat, I looked away for two seconds. No, my stamina will not support these shenanigans. Oh, chat, I looked at you for two seconds. I need to not look at chat. Looking at chat will get me killed. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm not looking at chat anymore during important sequences. I have to start the whole thing again. Oh, man. Are you kidding? Oh, dude. Chat, I'm ignoring you for five minutes. I'm ignoring you until I get to the end of this. I'm sorry. Oops. I'm not looking at you, chat. You can, you can call me all kinds of names. You won't get banned for it. Unless a moderator's looking. <laughs> if I'm the only person here with mod pals right now, then no one's getting banned. Because I ain't looking. But I can't help but look. Out of habit, I can see it like flickering on my second screen. And the nosy, the nosy Parker in me wants to have a look. I, look. I keep seeing my eyes flickering. I feel like I'm doing one of those eye tracker challenge videos on YouTube where like they just put on some like like e-girl TikToks and you've got to try and not look, look at their boobs or their butt. You know the sorts of videos I'm on about. Come on. Ride the wave, dude. Ride the wave. I'm trying not to look at chat. I'm just trying so hard. It's it's almost a habitual at this point to, to do that. There we go. Stop it, chat. I can see you moving. I can see you moving out of the corner of my eye. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. If I tighten this, will that work better for me? Yeah. Oh, boy. Mine the rocks. The annoying thing as well is I can see a load of, like, highlighted red bits. So I'm assuming that people are putting my username in the chat. <laughs> Just can't look at it. Whoa! God, I'm getting pulled by the wind there. Jeez, let me lower that a little bit. There we go. For some reason, I'm holding right trigger to go. I don't know why I was doing that this whole time, but... Just felt like it was helping. You know, like, when you play Pokemon and you, like, mash a button or you hold down a button when you're trying to catch a Pokemon to either do... to either get the catch or to, like, do more damage to it totally doing that kind of thing is the wind going to change direction this time or no i'm gonna try and go around the outskirts yeah this looks better whoa boy whoa boy whoa boy that's a little bit close here i mean we're soaring through this last bit look at us go right i can look at chat again what are you calling me look martin no balls right that's it that's it you're banned We've made it. I'm pretty sure it'd be fine if I crash my boat here, right? Right, lower this, lower this, lower this. All right, yeah. Right then, giant keyhole. Make an offering. The scurrying legs of Scuttle. When Scuttle the scheming crab enraged the gods with his endless pro uh, provocative dancing, he scurried ashore to wait out their anger on dry land. Significantly less stamina drain when sprinting. That's pretty cool. Wait, I've got 330 of this crystal stuff. Or we can get the arms of Im Im Imakul. Uh, the tides of uh, time snatched hungrily at Imakul's brood, but she held them tight in her uh, many arms and waited for the tide to change. 
A small increase in the number of held item slots, which will retain their content should disaster befall you. Interesting. I mean, I don't have enough to offer on either of those just yet, so I guess we'll leave that be for now. Ooh, what is this smoky number? Hello, you. I don't even get to interact with you, no? It looks like something from that film. You know that film where, like, the aliens come and there's, like, the ink blobs on, like, the doorway and stuff? Kind of looks like that. Am I supposed to do something here, or do I drive through the portal? I'm going to get back in my boat and go through the portal. I'm back if I missed anything important other than me drowning. No, not much. Uh, oh, yeah, let me push you back in. Whoop. Oh, jeez. There we are, nice. Right then, sails up. Guns out. Let's do it. Oh, boy. We have a lot of faith in these mysterious things, right? But to be fair, though, I think in real life I'd be the same. I think I'd rather act on impulse rather than out of fear if I was ever in a situation like this. Kind of kills the vibe when the HUD stays there, doesn't it? <laughs> I've always thought that with certain video games. Like, have the HUD disappear as you get closer to that portal. So when you do the big flash, then you're not just left with Hold B to exit. <laughs> just at the bottom of the screen. Well, hold on a minute. Where are we now then? Chapter 2, The Great Famine. Uh, Where is our closest island, dude? We are in the middle of nowhere. All right, we're on the... I mean... <laughs> How do I even... Okay, there's an island that way. That's fine. Let's go that way. I was about to say, how do I even tell, like, which way is north if I even wanted to? Hey, Martin, how you been? I've been all right, dude. I've been all right, bud. Let's get ashore this island real quick, though, and then we'll crack on. Oh, um, if I lower this. Oh, actually, wait. If I raise it, I can sort of work against it, can't I? Doing the zigzag thing. Oh, no. Hold on. How did you say I do it again, chat? Do you plan on finishing this game, if I'm enjoying it enough, dude? Yeah, 100%. There we go. I've got to slowly just sort of curve in. There we go. There we go. Oh, I see. When you're saying zigzag, do you mean more like an S shape? Like that? Maybe, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Easy now, easy now. Right, there are some big boys there. Let me just uh, hide out of the way for a moment. Jeez. 